This 55 year old lady from Orange County just drove 30 miles and a half with someone she thinks is 19 years old. You heard that right, a 19 year old boy. Hey mama, I'm here. Hi, this is my place. Helena Rose likes to be called Mama, but we have another name for her, Cheater. Hey guys, I'm wearing the coolest gadget on me right now, and I bet you can't even tell what it is. It's these glasses, and they have a hidden camera inside. Get yourself a pair at fiddlepiddle.com, or just use the direct link in our description. You can record anywhere or anything without anybody knowing. We actually use these spy glasses in today's episode. Helen has actually been married for the past 30 years, and the latest woman caught in our show to catch a cheater. She is 55 years old, old enough to be the boy's mother, lives in Orange County, and works as a secretary for her husband's dental business. Besides Mama, she likes to be called Big Mama. Her husband has been curious about her promiscuity for the past few years, ever since he's seen the app Snapchat installed on her phone and Instagram, an app popular among teens for sending nudes. He's also caught her talking to men from her home country, Thailand. His wife claims she is not continuing this behavior. Most recently, he found photos of a shirtless young boy in her emails that she sent to her sister, and also pictures of her and her friends at Chippendales from the last time she went to Vegas. We followed his wife after work to the bank, where she makes her daily deposits for her husband's business, and had our accomplice Steven, a young muscular teen, flirt with her. Hi, I'm sorry to bother you. Um, do you know where the Starbucks is around here? Right there. Oh, perfect, I'm meeting some friends there. Um, you're really cute, I'm sorry. <laughs> we show this footage to Dan, Helena's husband, the very next day, and this is how he reacts. What'd you say? You can get that a lot. Oh, are you kidding me? <laughs> no, no, I'm serious. We should get coffee sometime. Oh, are you so young? No, don't worry. <laughs> I'm Christian, by the way. Christian? Yes. I'm Helen. Helen, nice to meet you. Nice um, to meet you. We should get coffee. Helena does not mention having a husband and also doesn't hesitate to give out her number. Are you sure? Yeah! Let's get coffee. Oh, okay. Okay. She agrees to grabbing coffee and encourages our accomplice to text message her later. Our accomplice quickly gets her number and then says his goodbyes. <laughs> you are too cute. I'll see you around, Ellen. Shame. The interaction is quick, but Dan is shocked by his wife's obvious flirty behavior so that was the gist of what we got um we had our accomplice continue to text her it's just i'm sorry you said that's the gist of what we got it's just that's just what we got it's just as it's the gist of what we got oh you said just oh uh, sorry now normally sam would take a beating for correcting me in public however we were currently filming and i could no longer do that um so that is the gist of what we just got um we had our accomplice continue to text. Dan is obviously upset by this interaction. You can see his heart being ripped into two. We continue our investigation with Helen, just to see how far she's willing to go with our decoy. Our decoy sends the initial text, and the two continue texting for the next two days. After a few messages, Helen is aggressively initiating a meetup. Helen is quite open about her life and job to our decoy, but she doesn't once mention having a husband. Finally, later in the evening, our decoy asks Helen to meet up, but she says she can't meet up at night without reason. Our decoy jokingly asks, why, do you have a husband or something? Helena does not reply until the next day. My husband work in the money, so I can come see you for a few hours. Helen openly agrees to meeting our decoy, despite having a husband. Our decoy wants to see exactly how far is Helen willing to go, and if she wants just coffee, or wants more. Decoy's text, <laughs> yeah, 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 we can do that. Want to come to my place tomorrow afternoon? Oh, your, your place? Shouldn't we grab coffee first? Nah. I have coffee here. Huh. Okay, uh, uh, the awesome, uh, uh, what's your address? Helen hasn't made it very clear as to why she wants to meet up, but based on previous text she sent to her decoy, it's obvious she wants more than coffee. Oh, you're so handsome. Are you sure you don't have a girlfriend? Uh, huh. uh, thanks. No, I don't. Can't find a girl as good looking as you, to be honest. Oh, but I am so much older than you. I, I'm sure that you get a girl your age. I help you. I can help you. Yeah? Uh, uh, no thanks. I'll be happy with you, mama. <laughs> okay, winky face. The two continue texting and it becomes more sexually explicit. Our decoy tells Helen what to wear on their date. Are you going to wear a short dress for me? <laughs> okay, uh, uh, do you want me to wear that for you? Uh, uh, yeah. I want to see your legs. Make sure to wear a thong too. Mmm. <laughs> oh my god, you're such a naughty boy. I might need to give you a s***ing. 
Helen gets ready and drives down the five to Hollywood to meet Stephen. She's told her husband that she's running errands with her sister, and she has to leave work for an hour break. Helen calls Stephen as she parks her car outside, but not without telling him. Hey, Helen texts me saying she has to leave in 35 minutes, so it has to be quick. Okay. I Stephen tells her to come inside. What she doesn't know is she's about to be caught on our hidden camera setup inside our Sting apartment, AKA Luis's apartment. If you guys need to use the restroom, by the way, the one in my bedroom you can use as well. We get as much, I guess, footage as we can before you make your decision. Um, so just hang tight in your car. We have that app on your phone now so you can watch everything live. Once you open the door and you let her in, okay. try to see if you can get her to, like, literally get her to sit right here. Right, right here? Yeah. And whether okay. you choose to sit, you know, here and talk to her kind of thing. You really want to find out her intentions as far as what she's looking to do, like, why is she coming here? Is it yeah. simply to just get coffee and, you know, hang out or, you know, does she have other ideas or other plans? David, is there anything else that you want any instructions on or? Yeah, I want to find the truth. Okay. I want to see if she's been cheating, cheating on me <laughs> and all these stories, are they, they're, they're true or not. Yeah. Another idea, actually. Let me see. Go ahead and stuff this banana in your pants and we can use it as like a prop. Yeah. Our decoy is ready for any possibilities. All right, man, so this is the moment of truth. Our outdoor camera catches Helen walking up the stairs and has freshly done makeup applied. Hey, mama, I'm here. Hi, this is my place. Our decoy just hugs Helen. Watch again how she turns her head trying to kiss his neck. She's ready to get to business. Wow, love your dress. You like it? I love it, yeah, you're so pretty. That was the dress you were talking about. Uh huh. This is my place. It looks um, nice. Take a seat. Um, you wanna show me your room? Um, yeah, just hold on a second. Okay, let's, let's make it quick because I can't stay long. Okay. Uh, the decoy says he has to grab something from the bedroom. Go get some from my room real quick. Okay, you want me to go with you? No, no, it's okay. You can stay there. I'll be quick. Your plan is nice. Thank you. No, no. I'll be right out. Hello. Oh, I know who you are. Look at the expression on Helen's face. She looks scared. You know who I am? You taping me? Uh, yes, we are. Um, can you do me a favor? Can you go ahead and have a seat over there on that couch? I know who you are. Are you, you taping me? Uh, we are taping you. This is just for our own safety. You can have a seat though. But you said you know who I am? Yeah. So you've seen my shows then, right? Yeah. Okay, well, if there's a surprise for you, you're actually on. I know. Okay, Helena, uh, can I ask, what were you planning on doing here today? I just come to meet your friend. Okay, does your husband know that you're meeting this friend? Yeah. He does know? Yes. Yeah? Okay, anyway, uh, to make you feel more comfortable, have a seat over here on this table. I didn't do anything wrong. I know, I know. You can just have a seat over here. I just want to talk to you for a couple minutes. You can have a seat. You came over today to have... With a 19 year old boy. No, he's my friend. He's just... Oh, he's your friend? Yes. I don't, I, just... think, I don't think that's what your husband thinks, to be honest. I mean, you just met this kid two days ago at the bank, and your guys are already friends. You're coming over to his place? I just want to find him for uh, a girlfriend for him. Oh, okay. Well, let me read some of these messages you guys sent to each other. Will your husband mind that you're seeing me? He won't know. Good. I can't wait to see you and kiss you all over. Me too. Winky face. Why would you even encourage this and come to a guy's house? I mean, if you had no intentions of doing anything. I mean, is it okay that your husband talks to another woman like this? No. Okay, so you wouldn't like it? Yeah. So explain to me what was going on in your mind that you were coming over here today? I just come to meet him. Why did you have him call you Mala? I can't stay for too long. I don't want my husband finding out. I mean, have you done this before? No, but 
Have you ever met with other guys before? No, but I have. Well, why not? Met before the guy before, but you have met guys before? No, no, I never met the guy, but I never met him before. So outside of him, have you ever met up with other guys besides him? I speak with them, but I I never met them. No, why not? Because I'm afraid that I'm going to be on your show. Is that what you're afraid of? So if you could erase me from today, imagine I wasn't here. What were you planning on doing with this 19-year-old kid here today? No. I don't know. You don't know? Helen, your husband told me that you guys have been married for 30 years. Is that right? Yes. You guys have two kids, one boy, one girl? Yes. You guys have no mortgage. He owns three dental offices. You guys have a good life. Why would you throw all that away for one night of fun with this kid? I don't know. You don't know? Would you like it if your son's future wife did this to him? No. So then why would you throw all this away? I mean, you would throw all that away for one night of fun. Five minutes of fun. I mean, you can't explain to me what brought you here today. I don't know. I mean, it's not right though, right? Yeah. So help me understand what you're doing here. I don't know, I just come to meet our friends. I mean, this is, if you ever had a chance to explain yourself, I mean, this is it. I honestly don't even know what else there is to say to you. Um, do you consider this cheating? No. No? Okay. Well, uh, that's pretty much it for us. You are free to leave. I have no more questions for you. You can go. After I caught this cheater, her husband was waiting outside to confront her. Dan being on camera does not want to cause a scene. We followed up a few days later with Dan, left a few voice messages, but have not heard back. We assume this is a private matter for him and his family, and they plan on dealing with it within their household, and we respect that.